Runners, here are three things you can do looking into the, the new year of 2024 to best prepare yourself and set up to, to buy a home in 2024. I'm here with Max Ryan with Prime Lending. Uh, why don't you start us off? What's number one? So number one is uh, you don't always have to come up with your own down payment percentage. This is what most people think. Not everybody is aware of the opportunities. There's national, state, and local programs. And then there's also minimum down payment percentages on loan programs if you don't come up with a down payment assistance program. So for instance, conventional as low as 3% down, FHA as low as 3.5% down, VA for veterans um, and active mil duty military, 0% down, and USDA in more rural locations, 0% down. You can either pursue one of those programs, and oftentimes you're eligible for down payment assistance on top of those. Um, if you talk to a loan officer, they can help you determine which ones you're eligible for based on your credit score and income limits, uh, where you live, first time home buyer status, all those sorts of things. And the second thing you can do is you can get connected with a real estate agent like myself and get set up on an MLS search. So if there's certain areas that you're wanting to explore or, or weigh the, the pros and cons, uh, we can identify those areas, um, identify the needs you have, whether you need like minimum three bedrooms, four bedrooms, must have two at least two bathrooms, depending on the size of your family and what the, the needs are, or if you need to be in a certain school district. We can prepare or put together an MLS um, search so you're notified about listings as they come on the market. And even if you're not looking at buying for another six, you know, plus months, it's still good to do the research ahead of time. So you can ident identify those areas and what you can get uh, for your money in those areas you might be wanting to explore. Yeah, and lastly, number three, um, if right now you don't rent alone and you actually rent with other people, a family member, a friend, oftentimes people rent with two to three people, in the home that you buy, you can actually plan ahead, okay, what if I rent one of the bedrooms or two of the bedrooms out for this amount? How much does it combat my mortgage payment? How much does it help me save over time? And how can it change your financial outlook? So we can do unique rent versus own analyses. It, it, or analyses, I should say. It's not for everybody. It's not to say that certain renters don't have a better setup that way, but we can at least help you compare and get clarity on what would happen if you chose to buy um, and potentially rent out some of the bedrooms as well. We're gonna have a link below uh, with the rent versus own analysis if you'd like to click on that. Um, or if you have any specific questions, discuss your specific situation, you can reach out to me directly. Um, our, information, our information will both be below. Thanks.